Hey guys, it's Game Freak 10001 back with episode 3 of the of my Pikachu solo of yellow. So yeah, in the last part we got um we beat Misty and got and got Charmander, which probably gonna use as an HM slave, which um there's one problem, I do not remember where to get cut in this game because I have not played it in such a long amount of time that I hardly remember. Now the reason why I don't know is because I actually haven't played this game in a while. Um, the last time I played this game was about a couple years ago and back then I just, I didn't find, I looked up HM locations. Now I just find them in the game. So I see there's a, a Team Rocket member up, or a Team Rocket or whatever he is up there. So I'm gonna see who it is. Um, since I obviously don't remember, but oh, you need cut to get down there. So well, unless there's no way to go down. Just down this way. Oh, nope. I'm the, I'm gonna search everywhere until I actually find something that means usefulness. This guy um, is gonna ask us, um, and obviously that's a bike. And obviously the bikes are overpriced. And the stupid thing is that in this game you cannot get a million dollars. You can get 999999 but you can't get a million. Straight out impossible to get a million. Yeah, now... Oh. So apparently this is where you get Bulbasaur, so... We're going to... I did not know. Do it, no, we're not going to give a nickname to Bulbasaur. So, yeah, apparently I also found the place where you get Bulbasaur, which I had no idea where. Since, again, this also is... It's not my first playthrough of first gen, but it's my first playthrough of yellow. Now then, which one of these badges should I describe? That... That guy will describe badges to you if you have any information about, like, what badge is what. Like, for instance, if you have a question on what does the Boulder badge do, or what does the Zeph Zephyr badge do, which I think that's a badge in this game. I'm not sure if it is. I don't remember the badge names, but I remember who, I remember, like, who gives you what badge. Oh, great. Never mind. So, I guess now I'm going to head on to, um, Vermilion City, so that we can get on to the, um, Lieutenant Surge. Now, now he's an electric type user, so this gem shouldn't be, um, too hard. should be easy, due to the fact that this guy loves electric types. And since he is an electric type user, we're not going to be um, trying much at him. And then again, I think this is the wrong direction. Uh, yep. Since I don't remember where to find the SSN. If I did, I probably would I probably would be there by now. All I'm doing is going right in a random direction. So yeah, that's the wrong way. Wait a minute, can't you enter through the back there? Oh yeah you can. So we have a rocket here and 
he's trying to pass for an innocent bystander. So, yeah, we're gonna battle a grunt who obviously is gonna have useless Pokemon that don't, that aren't very, um, that are pretty much, oh, he's got something somewhat useful. We're gonna use Quick Attack, since obviously this is a, a chop is a fighting ground type, so he can't really do anything. And he's gonna re rely on using, um, Karate Chop. Now, there, now, the reason why I haven't made a video in like, or put a video in the last couple of days is because, one, I was on a vacation and I was doing what you usually do, swimming and other things. And, yeah, so I just swam for three days, which is what I would normally do on my vacation. Didn't really go out and do any other things, we just stayed in the hotel. Oh great, and, oh great, is this, this is kind of confusion, because confusion and psychic are overpowered in the first gen. And he's going to disable our quick attack, which is great, because we weren't even using it in the first place. And we get healed, and Lance defeated Rocket, so I think you get cut after this. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Lance recovered a TM-28. Better get moving, bye. So I think this guy gives you cut. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to dig like how to dig without a TM. Team Rock must be trying to dig their way into no good. So I think now I'm gonna head right if there is a right direction you can go. Oh great. I have absolutely no idea where to go. Which is great and embarrassing, especially during an episode. I wanna see where this leads. Crap, no, this is the way we came in. Jeez. I'm so lost. So since I'm lost, uh talk about some random stuff. Trainer tips. Pressing B button during evolution cancels the whole process. Yeah, if you you should be able to figure that out pretty easily. And if you don't know that, then obviously you've never played the game before. But I have several times. And besides, I never press the B button. B button anyhow. But the one thing that doesn't matter is that since in this game it prevents you from evolving the Pikachu you got, so we can't um, do anything about Pikachu's non-evolution. So I'm gonna go down, see what's down here. Beyond the uh, cut aisle. Oh, uh, it's probably just a route. And it's also where you find the daycare. That's the daycare where you can get um, your Pokemon uh, to level up if you don't have anything else. Oh, underground path. So now we're going to take the underground path, which I think has absolutely no trainers in it. Just a bunch of, uh, just a really long path that has almost nothing in it. And, and now we are in, oh, we're not in Vermillion yet, but we're in Underground Path. Yeah, we just got out. So I'm guessing this path is going to have a lot of electric type trainers. We're going to battle him and see what he has. Probably bug types. There aren't many bugs out here, yeah. Definitely has some bug types by the way he's speaking with bugs. And he's gonna have useless ones like Weedle. Which then again Weedle does evolve into Bee Drill, so I wouldn't say it's entirely useless. But it is mostly useless if you're until it evolves. 
Caterpie is actually a very useful one to have, um, but don't get a Metapod. It has a Metapod before you get it as a Caterpie, because if it evolves into Metapod first, then it is, then it will actually no tackle and actually some useful moves that will actually do something. Now you have a, now if you have a, great, I forgot, a Metapod that has, doesn't have any special or so what moves except for hard, which is what they mostly come with, which is why I'm saying they're not, they're not very, which Metapod is not very useful. Darara is trying to learn Thunderbolt. Darara can't learn more than four moves. Still need no other move to make proof for Thunderbolt. Goodbye Thundershock and hello Thunderbolt. Because we do not need a Thundershock anymore now that we have Thunderbolt. If I would have known it was only one more level, I probably would have leveled up. One more level before I missed it. I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. Now we're doing what we always do in Pokemon games, which is interrupting a lover's relationship. And he's got a weeping bell. That's the one thing I did not get about these games. You, you can go into random people's houses, random people's anything, and they'll be like, Oh, it's okay, you broke into my house. Just take whatever you want. I don't care if you steal, steal my stuff, just as long as... Just as long as, um, you don't, um, take anything important. And also, there's another thing. There's, I there's random items on the ground. I mean, how do these items get there, and why are they there? Are they just left there so that you will, so that you will, so that you'll get them? And, in a forest, um, and... Yeah, it's just, I don't know why they do that, but apparently people in the Pokemon world think it is alright to have a, a... to just have a random item out there. But, in, in today's world... Oh crap, Bone Club. I think we actually might, um... Uh, slam? Oh great, looks like we're gonna have to... Oh great. Gonna have to paint here, cause yeah. Go ahead and... There's a Pikachu solo, but I have to use... I have to wait for Charmander to die. But apparently, sorry guys, this is going to be the only battle I'm going to be doing with Charmander due to the fact we are, we lost Pikachu, which wasn't supposed to use Charmander, but Pikachu fainted and died in Chug losing. So, but this game is different with the whole, this is first gen game, so... It's going to be different in the effects uh, than other games. So, yeah. Sorry about that. We're going to go back and heal Pikachu and then go on. But I had to screw up and get Pikachu fainted. Which is terrible. Oh. Uh, guy who wants you to give him a drink, but he'll play a key role later, but for now he's not an important person we need to worry about. All I need to worry about is getting back to the thing and getting Pikachu back, since I, didn't, I never thought Pikachu was actually going to faint during this run, but apparently he did, so... We're gonna go revive him and then move back on to the next um, area. And we're gonna hurry up and go up. So, hopefully, this. 
this won't take long because I have to heal Pikachu. And it sucks is that this was a solo and I was hoping to keep Pikachu alive for every battle, but apparently I couldn't. So, we're going to heal Pokemon now, and uh, now we're going to continue again with the Pikachu solo part of it. And I, I don't think in this episode I'm going to fight um, Surge. I'm probably going to end it after I get to Vermillion. But for me again, Vermillion is not that far from here. So, we should be fine. Now go to, now go down. Now go to. I find it, I think convenient how, inconvenient how people in the city can just leave to go to Vermillion in a normal way. They have to go through some through, well, somebody through somebody's house, which was broken into. Now that's the other thing, um, um, teams, there's these, um, teams, the teams in the games have absolutely no point in really what they're doing. Team Rocket is the worst. They have no point. They just love to steal. They want to do, they don't have what they want to do. They don't have any plans of world domination or anything like that. Team Galactic was not really they were based on taking over, but they were based on taking over the world. And that motive also led to their defeat. And Team Rocket was like, um, then there was Team Magma and Team Aqua. Which were like just let's like, steal legendaries. Care about anything else? They only care about anything else. They only care about stealing crowd yeah. honor. Legendary that other legendary that was very strong. Which then again they don't end up stealing. They don't end up stealing them anyway. You end up getting it. But anyways, so yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's or you no. Huh? No. Movie. No. Okay, so Carol was asking us if we want to play. I never said I wanted to play. And they're saying it's play what? Oh. Play a Pokemon battle? You want me to kick your butt? Is that what it is? Because I'm obviously going to lose because I have a legend type and you're a flying type. Times four weakness to address it here, times two. She's gonna have three Pidgeys. Yay! So exciting. Caught three Pidgeys. That's not that exciting. And you managed to level them up to level 16, which is somewhat impressive. Very much. And I wonder what level they started at. Level three, level two. And you managed to get through a group of trainers all the way from where you get Pidgey, get Pidgey, which is near, um, I think, Pewter, and get all the way to around here. Pretty impressive, and that is, it takes a lot, it takes a long time to get here. Potion. 55 health should be good enough. And we have this guy. Huh, you wanna talk to me? I don't wanna to talk to you. You assume that I want to have a conversation. Does it look like I want to have a conversation? No. So, if you wanna go talk to someone, yeah, go talk to strangers. Did your parents tell you not to talk to strangers? I think they did. So, don't talk to random people that come down the street. And that Radicate Sprite is very ugly. Yellow has probably some of the 
some of the ugliest sprites, but also some of the best. But most of them are not that great. And he's gonna use Hyper Fang, which does like 20 damage. Then again, everything in first gen is overpowered, but after that, they start balancing it out and start making normal types not as powerful as they, as they used to be. Making normal types a, uh, a weaker type. So this is Vermilion City. Um, probably going to take on the uh, gym, or at least attempt to, and I think we're going to need to buy something better than potions, because that's currently what we have, and potions are not extremely uh, useful, because they only heal 20 health. Now, I think his Raichu has some mission, which could be a bad thing, and it also could be a good thing. Oh, I didn't notice that was a woman. Oh, great. Do we need Cut to get into the gym? And we're talking to the Clefairy. Pikachu's in love with our the Clefairy or something. I have one in 100 Pokemon. I love them all. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come here to brag? Now listen up, my favorite Rapidash is cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's shiny. Kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular. Rapidashing. Oops, at the time, I kept it too long. Actually, I want you to have this. A bike voucher. So, we can get a bike. here and the next part um and and hopefully i'll find cut between that time and so i'll see you all later